bioidentical hormone replacement therapy. What is it? Is it effective? Should you do it? I'm going to tell you the answer is yes. I've been doing it for the past eight plus years and it has absolutely changed my life for the better. In this video, I'm going to explain a little bit more about what it is, why it's been so hugely transformational for me and explain how you can get on the right path and how you can get started on bioidentical hormonal replacement therapy. Tune in to learn more. Hey everybody, Kelly Alexa here, fitness fanatic, confidence coach, serial entrepreneur, and most recently, keto convert. But I'm also somebody who, if you've been tuning into this channel for a while, you know that I have been on the struggle bus with my hormones and hormonal imbalance for quite some time. If you're just watching this video and you're brand new, I just told you I've been on the struggle bus with hormone imbalance for quite some time. However, that said, like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, bioidentical hormonal replacement treatment or bioidentical hormonal replacement therapy, they're both the same thing essentially, has been a game changer for me and I am a absolute advocate for women getting started on this. It can change your entire life, it can change your body, it can change your future. In this video, I'm gonna explain what it's all about in my own words, of course, I'm not a doctor, I'm just somebody who hangs around and learns from a lot of them. And I'm gonna put it to you in real simple terms so that you can understand what this is all about and why it's so important for you and why I absolutely think you should make moves towards getting this in your life today. Let's get started. You guys know the drill. Make sure that you're subscribed. If you're not, get yourself subscribed and also make sure you hit that cute little bell so that you're notified every single time we put up a new video here on this channel. You certainly don't want to be out of the loop, do you? Okay, everybody, welcome back. Let's dive right into this topic. So today, what, what I think is the best way to address this topic um, is, is this, you know, what is bioidentical hormonal replacement therapy or treatment? Who is it for? You know, like, why would you, why would you be getting this? Why or who should be getting this? And then what, what's the problem? Because there really tends to be a serious problem around this topic. It's very, this is a very controversial topic. Um, controversial typically on the, on the doctor side, uh, because in the traditional medical, um, space, it's not something that a lot of traditional medicine, med, medicine, what's the right word I'm looking for? Medicinal practitioners. I don't know if that's the right word that I'm looking for, uh, want to prescribe. Um, but in my words, uh, bioidentical hormonal replacement therapy is this, it is bio. So your hormones are your hormones. Hopefully you have a, a basic understanding of what that is. Hormones are natural within your body, right? We're talking about testosterone, progesterone, um, estrogen, and, and I'll give you an example of what I'm on. Um, these are, there's a lot of terms I'm going to, and I don't, I don't want to get sidetracked and get too deep into terminology here because for those of you watching, you, th this is new to you, so I don't want to get in too much of a deep dive. You're investigating. You, you're watching this probably because you're just getting started and, and thinking about going on bioidentical hormonal replacement therapy. So I don't want to get too sidetracked and talk about things that, and use terms that you probably won't be familiar with yet. That said, um, when you're on bioidentical hormonal replacement treatment, you are getting a prescription from a typically an alternative medicine doctor or a functional medicine doctor who is prescribing a, um, it's a compounded, typically that's what they call it, a compounded prescription. I get my medicine from a compounded a me a pharmacy who I hope I'm saying that correctly. I know they, that's the word, the phrase they use, compounded uh, pharmacy, or they, 
create compact. In other words, it's created specifically for me. These aren't pills that they create in a big batch and they give some to me and they give some to somebody else. It's compounded. It's created specifically, a specific dosage just for me. Um, now there's different types of uh, ways that you can deliver bioidentical hormonal replacement therapy. Some are creams, some are injections, some are pellets, some are dissolvable tablets. I've done pretty much all of those. I have not done the pellets. A lot of you that have been watching my channel for a while have asked. I've not done the pellets. I've done creams, I've done injections, and right now my current doctor has all of my uh, medicine they're pills that I take and I dissolve under the tongue. When I started, I was doing testosterone injections and compounded cream that I would put on my forearms. Then my next doctor had me doing compounded cream and pills, a combination of those two. And now I do all dissolvable pills that are under the tongue. With And then the only thing I take as far as a pill that I swallow are my um, thyroid, my T3, T4. So when you go on bioidentical hormonal replacement therapy, it is just that. You are, you're in the phase of your life where your hormones are starting to become out of balance, which typically starts around age 40. But for those of you who are tuning in, who maybe are in, are in your 30s or even in your 20s, please know that that is not abnormal. That is now, sadly, very common. Um, hormonal imbalance can happen to women at virtually any age now, and that is because of the fact that so many women are going through extreme dieting. Um, so many women, not to mention the fact that we have so many environmental factors that are affecting our hormones. Um, you know, young women are, gosh, we're starting to see young women have their hormones change um, at younger and younger ages. Women are getting, young women are getting their periods at younger and younger ages. They're developing, you know, they're, they're, I just said they're getting their periods. They're getting their periods. They're developing breasts and body hair at younger and younger ages. That's, that's due to environmental factors and, and things affecting hormones. Okay. So that's also going to affect potential future hormonal imbalance, okay? Things that are in our food, things that are in our environment, things that are in products that we use, okay? That affects, that's what. That's why we're starting to see women present with hormonal imbalance a lot earlier. I know, in fact, um, two women who I have interviewed on my podcast, um, exceptional women, Laura Christine King, Lori Christine King and Alex Mazurko, both women uh, in the fitness space, in their 20s who had to go on bioidentical hormonal replacement treatment um, because they were heavily involved in the fitness industry, heavy dieting, heavy figure competing, competing, <laughs> competing, excuse me. Um, a lot of that too can have an effect. A, a stressful lifestyle, heavy working out, you know, you're jacking up your cortisol, you add that and then being on the pill, all of these things can have an effect. So. Your hormones are typically going to start deteriorating around age 40. Um, that's when you're going to start having symptoms um, that are going to start becoming quite notable. They should be quite notable to you and screaming out to you like, hey, my body's changing. I don't act like I'm young anymore. These symptoms are as follows. And I put, I took notes here so I make sure I address all of them. And for those of you who are new, um, who are like, I think I have a hormonal balance. I think I might be going into perimenopause. I think I might be in menopause or postmenopause. or am I experiencing hormonal imbalance? If you're experiencing any or all of these symptoms, you might have hormonal imbalance. Weight gain, sudden inability to lose weight or sudden, sudden weight gain, sudden inability to lose weight, sudden um, gain of weight or um, just Maybe you're suddenly seeing that you're holding fat in areas where you've never held fat before, um, or just sudden, suddenly you have a 
belly pudge and you've never had a belly pudge. Maybe you've always had a flat stomach and suddenly you, you don't have a flat stomach. Maybe you, you, you don't, you're not necessarily feeling like you're gaining a lot of fat, but suddenly you have fat under your triceps, things like that. Um, weight gain, skin problems, adult onset acne. Um, some people can get skin problems like I did. I uh, suddenly broke out in skin, skin rashes, which turned out to be something else, but all over my neck, all over my arms, all over my chest, various versions of skin problems, adult onset acne, hair problems, losing your hair, thinning hair, um, all kinds of hair and hair thinning, hair loss problems, libido, loss of libido, um, uh, mood swings, um, not knowing why you're having mood swings. Think about PMS, gone bad. Um, lack of energy, incredible lack of energy. Um, feeling like you have to take a nap in the middle of the day. Um, but that times, like that on steroids. Um, sleep problems, inability to fall asleep, inability to stay asleep, um, night sweats, all kinds of problems with sleep, um, lack of focus during the day, inability to focus, inability to stick with a train of thought, all these types of things, um, foggy brain, um, foggy train of thought, um, just in general, lack of focus. All of these things would, would be reflective of somebody whose hormones are starting to go crazy. When that happens, that's a sign that your hormones are going wacky. That's also a sign that you are a great candidate for having your hormones balanced. It used to be that when this happened, you had to just accept it. Well, that's not the case anymore. Now, here's where we get to the bad part. <laughs> and here's where the controversy comes in or, or the challenge comes in. So many of you who are watching this video because you're investigating this, doing some research, are going to go to your primary care doctor or your OBGYN or your endocrinologist and you're going to say, I think my hormones are bad. I think I might be going into perimenopause. I think that I might be in menopause. You know, something is going wrong. I'm gaining weight. I can't deal with this anymore. I want to go on bioidentical hormonal replacement treatment. I've been doing some reading about it. Let's make this happen. And you need to brace yourself because what's going to happen is you're going to get, um, at minimum, extreme pushback. 95% of these traditional medicine practitioners are going to treat you like shit. They are going to talk down to you. They are going to dismiss you. They are going to um, argue with you. They are going to probably deny you. Um, I deal with... I am. I'm now coaching women in this area to help get them into the right place, connected with the right doctors and on the right plan so that they can get bioidentical hormonal replacement treatment and start losing weight because this is such a problem. It is so ridiculous what I hear from women when I first connect with them and I hear what they've heard from an OBGYN or from their primary care doctor or from an endocrinologist when they are simply asking for blood work or simply asking for, you know, they're, they're asking for someone to listen to them. And I had the same exact experience. I went to my OBGYN and uh, I was experiencing almost what I would call hemorrhaging, massive bleeding. Um, I was bleeding almost the whole month and her solution was of course to put me on the pill. This is going to be what you will hear from virtually every OBGYN. You know why? because they are financially incentivized to prescribe and give you as many birth control pills as they can. They are not financially incentivized to prescribe or direct you to do anything with bioidentical hormonal replacement therapy because they can't get any financial kickback from it. Now, this one woman, the most recent uh, comment. It's actually here on one of my most recent YouTube videos. One gal had written that she went to her OBGYN and her OBGYN said that she wouldn't, I'm trying to go on memory, she wouldn't let her go on bioidenticals because it wasn't FDA approved. Well, it's not FDA approved because they can't put a patent on it and big pharma can't get involved and then, you know, they can't make money off of this. And that's why you're going to get pushback from traditional medicine. 
you know, traditional medicine is, is used to prescribing drugs. They can make money off of drugs and, and that's what they're incented to do. Um, I have a really good friend who is in the medical space and he always jokes and he says, I'm a drug dealer. That's, that's what the medical industry does. I mean, they're, they're, that's their job is to prescribe drugs. So this is bio, bioidentical hormonal replacement therapy is not a drug. Think about the word, bioidentical hormones, okay? Now we're not talking about synthetic hormones. There are doctors who will try to put you on synthetic, synthetic um, thyroid medication, synthetic hormones. There are versions of that and you need to watch out very carefully. That's another reason why I work with women on this because you've got to be very careful. It's kind of like reading labels of foods. You've got to look at the labels very carefully to see what you're, you know, what you're eating, what you're putting on your skin, what you're drinking, all of that kind of stuff. It's very sneaky as well working with doctors. I constantly deal with women and I'm like, okay, let me see what you're taking. And I'm like, okay, you're taking a synthetic um, thyroid medication, you're taking synthetic hormones, and they don't even realize it, but it's like Synthroid. If you're taking Synthroid, that's a synthetic thyroid medication. That's doing you harm. That's jacking up your hormones just as bad as something else. So again, let me review here as we go along. Bioidentical hormonal replacement treatment is for balancing your hormones when they start to go haywire, typically around age 40 or after. But again, it can be when you're younger, doesn't have to be only age 40 or, or after. Balancing your hormones can dramatically change your life and your future. And once your, your hormones start to get balanced, that makes weight loss miraculously easier. Take it from me, I'm age 52, and after having been on the weight loss struggle bus for a long, long time, I lost 35 inches and 28 pounds um, after going keto uh, June 1st of last year. I mean, I look better now than I have in, in decades, um, but all of this is due to all of these factors. It's due to getting hormones in the right place with the right doctor and going on the right diet for my insulin issues. And these are all things that happen to typically women 40 plus. These are all things that I address when I work with women one-on-one. -on -one. So I'm looking at my notes, making sure I'm addressing everything. Who is, who's, a, who's an ideal candidate for bioidentical hormonal replacement treatment? Pretty much in my opinion, um, you know, any traditional medicine, medicine, practitioner that you go to, an OBGYN, your primary care doctor, an endocrinologist, is going to push back and try to give you all kinds of nonsense and bullshit reasons why you shouldn't go on this. It's not FDA approved. It can cause breast cancer, blah, 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 blah. I firmly disagree. I've been on this for eight years. It is life-changing. Um, I absolutely knew some of the risks. There's risks in everything. I embrace those risks and I would not go off of this for, for anything. Um, it is not covered by insurance, typically. Um, that's one of the things that sucks about it. Um, and that goes back to some of the things I talked about before, the fact that the, you know, without patents, you know, and without the fact that big pharma can't get involved and all of that, that's what you're dealing with. But that said, I personally recommend this to every woman I know because it can so change your life. It can change your sleep. It can change your libido. It can change your body. It can change everything. It can make the last 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years of your life the best years of your life. I mean, I'm 52. I cannot tell you how much I am looking forward to the next 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years of my life because I view them as like, I'm only going to get better and better and better. I'm not going, oh God, it's all downhill from here. I'm absolutely, that's exactly how I feel. And I wouldn't be feeling that way if it wasn't for being on bioidentical hormonal replacement therapy, period. Sometimes I see people on Facebook that I graduated from high school with and they look like they're 30 years older than me. And I just think, I need to get you on bioidenticals. That's all there is to it. So in closing, 
I've, I've said in my own words what bioidentical hormonal replacement therapy is, who it's good for, what the symptoms are so that you know like, hey, this is when it's time for me to start making the moves. And, and don't think like, oh, I think it's time for me to start making the moves, but let me look into this next year. Let, don't wait. Don't, don't be that woman. I was that woman. Everybody is that woman. And don't keep putting this off and putting this off and putting this off because trust me, a year from now, just like anything, you will, you will wish you had started sooner. This is life-changing stuff, okay? Please, please, please understand what to expect when you go to your OBGYN and talk about this, what, you will, what to expect if you go to your PCP, what to expect if you go to your endocrinologist, and if they give you any of this kind of nonsense, be prepared to stand up for yourself. Be prepared and understand that these people work for you. You pay these people, they work for you, and be ready to walk away and hire somebody else. Now, of course, I need to be very bold and offer my services to you because this is one of the things that I do. I work with women as kind of like the concierge in between when they're at this phase because when you're stuck and you're in between and you're like, okay, my doctor isn't helping me. My OBGYN is screwing me over. My endocrinologist is screwing me over. I need to find one of these special doctors that you're talking about, Kelly. How do I find them? How do I find the right one who's not going to put me on synthetic hormones? How do I start losing weight? How do I get out of this quagmire over here and get into the right place where you got into, Kelly? Because guess what? It kind of took me the last part, the better part of the last eight years, you know, I went through several phases. I went through two or three doctors. I've learned a lot over the last eight years and I can save you a lot of time so that you can kind of condense and consolidate everything I've learned in the last eight years, skip a lot of steps, skip to the, to the head of the line and, uh, accelerate your journey. Right. And, and that's what I'm doing. So, um, I can certainly offer you quite a lot of assistance if you are not getting anywhere. And I will put the links down below if you would like to schedule a consult with me because this is now a big part of what I do is helping women make the leap, get away from the bad doctors and make the leap. First of all, typically what I, what I do is we schedule a consult where I can answer any and all of your questions about that because it's very confusing. It's very, very confusing to understand all of this. Um, and most women have a lot of questions about all of this, you know? Um, and that's what we typically do is a first time call. <laughs> sounds like a radio show. First time caller. Um, we do a, a first time consult where I, I answer all the questions about weight loss, about hormones, about what the process is going to be like. Um, and then we decide what that client wants to do. Do they want to see my doctor? Do they want to find a doctor that's local in their own area? Am I going to help them find a local doctor? Am I going to help them find a, a doctor that's online? You know, and then we decide, um, how, how we're going to find that doctor together, what kind of doctor is going to be best for that person. And then we move into the weight loss segment um, because uh, I also have a weight loss program as well. Um, it's a keto-based, keto and fasting-based weight loss program, just like the one that has worked really well for me, just like the one that I know my doctor taught me is ideal for women who are in this phase of life, suffering from hormonal imbalance, typically suffering from a lot of insulin resistance and have had a real problem losing weight because of it. What worked for me has worked for a ton of other women that I've coached and they've all lost more than 25 pounds at this point. Um, so that said, um, I hope that this video was helpful for you. This is the number one, number one thing that I get people reaching out to me on now is, is, uh, hormones, bioidentical hormonal replacement treatment, and it is also the number one most confusing thing um, to women. And I understand that because it is not covered in, in mainstream media. It is not, and, and to be honest with you, the things that I hear on an increasing basis from women, that they are, what, what they're experiencing when they go to their doctor 
and and what they're hearing from their doctors either their doctors are telling them that they are um, crazy their doctors are saying oh you need to just chill out and relax I'm gonna put you on Xanax their doctors are telling them they should just diet and work out more their doctors are telling them, I'm going to put you on the pill. I'm going to put you on a statin drug. Um, their doctors are telling them to go see a dermatologist. Their doctors are putting them on spironolactone. Their doctors are putting them, you know, sending them to an OB and the OB is saying the same thing. You know, I'm going to put you on the pill. I'm going to put you on spironolactone. I mean, it's just, it's just a cycle. And the thing is, is you get put on the pill, you get put on spironolactone, you get put on Xanax, you get put on the statin drug, all of these things just make you worse. And because you're not addressing your hormones, then your hormones get worse. And then you get stressed, so your cortisol gets worse. And then you're probably gonna diet and exercise even more, which is what a lot of women do. I did it. That makes your cortisol and your adrenals worse, which makes your hormones worse, which makes the situation worse. So then by the time you finally do address this stuff with the right doctor, you're in an even worse situation. So I'm hopeful that by the time you're watching this video, you're at an earlier stage and you, you take action and you, you, you realize this is the time. I'm not gonna put it off. I'm gonna get my blood work done. I'm gonna make an appointment. I'm gonna do a consult with Kelly. I'm gonna get with a functional medicine doctor. I'm not gonna listen to this Jag who wants to put me on Xanax. I'm not going to listen to this OBGYN who wants to put me on the pill. I'm just not going to, I'm not going to hear that anymore. These people work for me and I'm going to fire them. They no longer work for me. I'm going to find somebody and I'll tell you, you'll know it when you find the right people. When I hired my current doctor and I had my first consult with her, I just remember hanging up the phone and knowing, like I knew in my heart, this is it. And within the next year, I'm gonna hit my goal weight, I'm gonna lose the weight, I'm gonna be back in, in, in my body. And that's exactly what happened. And that's what I want for all of you. And that's the greatest feeling in the world. And that's what I hope you, you leave this video knowing that this can happen for you too. Best feeling ever. This is exciting, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna be quiet now and I'm gonna end this video because today as I'm recording this, there's a huge storm in Texas and we have had internet outages and power outages. And so I'm recording this and very excited that I actually got to get through this video. And so hopefully I'll be able to actually now close this out and upload it. I hope you guys have a good rest of the evening. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time on The Kelly O Show. Hey everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this video was helpful. Obviously it's something I'm super passionate about. Again, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Um, there's so many of you that have been tuning in for so long about these topics. So I want to hear all your questions, leave them in the comments or email me as well.